Hey guys, it's Lev here with Trotec Laser Canada and today we're actually going to be doing a video on UV printing on wood. Now we have different elements in this point of purchase display uh, including acrylic cutting, engraving and heat bending and how it sort of all comes together. So let's start with our base. It's Troglass Color Gloss Fluorescent Green, a 3 millimeter. And what we've done is we first laser engraved our design. Then we've cut it. We put it on the acrylic EMX strip heater. Now we want to make sure that the heat bender is preheated for about 10 minutes. Because it's not a thick piece of acrylic, we can usually leave it on for about five minutes uh, until we can start bending the acrylic. Now we did put small kiss cut marks on the edge of the acrylic where we want to heat bend it. First we heat bend the front, let it dry, then the back, and then we, we sort of have this arching back to our uh, panel as well. Now for the wood we've actually used our solid wood cherry. We put it into our Muto Value Jet 426 UF UV printer and we are printing white as an undercolor so it's not see-through. Sometimes with acrylic we print that on the back. With this we're printing right on top of the wood so it's color on white instead of white on color like we do with acrylic. We make sure we have our black registration marks. Now these are a quarter inch in diameter and we want to make sure it's RGB black filled and there's a hairline outline that's RGB black as well. We then put our wood into our Speedy 400 with the Vision camera system. The camera system reads the registration marks. Now we're going to kiss cut where the letters are going to go. And then we're going to do a full cut for the shape of the wood and for the holes for our standoffs. Now for our letters we're going to use our Troglass Color Gloss White Translucent which is basically a little bit of a transparent, not all the way, so you can actually see some of the UV printed design behind it. We're gonna laser cut our white acrylic. Take off the 3M adhesive. And then glue it right on top of our kiss cutted wood. So next, we actually put our standoffs. We first attach them onto our green acrylic base. Afterwards, we put the wood on the standoffs and then close the standoffs off and then lock them with the Allen key. We use our Novus One acrylic cleaner, which is a really nice uh, spray to clean up any uh, fingerprint marks that you may have on the acrylic. Well, our base is pretty much done. Uh, all that's left is our tree. Every element of the tree we purchased from an art supply store. So the fake tree, the fake sand, and the pot itself. This is another great example of what you can do with laser cutting and engraving, UV printing, and acrylic bending. You can make these point of purchase displays really quickly and easily with our Trotec materials and obviously our lasers and the UV printer. Again, think about the return on investment. Think about how much something like this would cost for a customer. You can reproduce these quite easily once you have the artwork file ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.